For this project, I'm using Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. It's one of my favorite yarns. Um, the color I'm using is Tealberry. This is Red Heart's new color in this brand. Um, this was actually donated to me by a YouTube subscriber. Thank you so much, Donna. I really appreciate the donation, and this is beautiful. It really is. And it's 280 yards per skein. Um, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna put the fringe on it, two skeins will be enough. But if you're gonna put the fringe on a scarf like I did, you're gonna need three skeins at 280 yards a skein. Okay, and I'm using a size H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. Now I'm gonna be doing this, and the stitch is called the Harriet Lace, Harriet's Lace Stitch. And this stitch is actually done and a multiple of six plus four. So whatever chain you start with, if it's different than mine, it needs to be a multiple of six, and then you add four more chains onto your beginning chain. I already did my main piece, so I'm gonna show you on a smaller scale. But uh, for my big piece, I started with a chain of 303 stitches. So I made one big long piece and then I sewed it together to make the infinity scarf. So if you're going to do it like me, 303 chains. Okay, okay, we're going to start by doing a half double crochet in the sixth st stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Half double in the sixth stitch. And then we're going to chain one. Now we're going to skip one stitch and half double into the next. And then we're going to chain one. Skip a stitch, half double into the next. Chain one, skip, and then half double. And that's the pattern that we're going to repeat to the end of your chain. Chain one, skip, half double, chain one, skip a stitch, half double, chain one, skip a stitch, half double, Okay, when you make it to the end of your chain, go ahead and chain one and turn. Now we're going to go right back into the same stitch in single crochet. Like that. And now I'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch and every chain one space. So I'm going to jump right through this next space and single crochet. And then I'm going to jump to the next half double crochet and single crochet in it. Single crochet into the next space. Single crochet into the next half double. The next space. The next half double. And you just want to do this pattern until you get to the end of your chain. Single crochet in, in every half double stitch and every chain one space. Just like that. Okay, when you get to the end of your chain, like I'm at the end of mine here, and you got this right here. You want to make sure you get the correct amount of single crochets. So you got to put one single crochet into this half double. Like that. And then we're going to put one right through the whole space, which is going to account for a chain space. And then we're going to put one in the fourth stitch, which is going to count like we're putting one into the very end if there was a half double there. so, And then we're going to chain one and turn. 
Now we're going to go ahead again and single crochet right back into this very, very first single crochet. Like that. And now we're going to do a chain of two. One, two. We're going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip. And we're going to put a V-stitch into the next stitch. That's where we do a double crochet. Chain two. One, two. Go back into the same stitch and do another double crochet like that. So that is a V stitch. Now we're going to chain two again and then we're going to skip two, skip, skip. And in the next one we're going to single crochet. And then we're going to put a pico right here on this single crochet. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, three and now we're going to come back down I like to go right into the top of this first of the single crochet like on these side stitches and slip stitch and what that does is it puts a little point on your stitch now we're going to chain two and we're going to repeat that pattern pattern right now so now we're going to chain two again skip two and in the next one V stitch so double crochet, chain two, go back in and double crochet, and that was a V-stitch, and again after that V-stitch we chain two again, skip two, skip skip, single crochet, and then we do our pico on top of the single crochet, so I'll show you again, we chain three, and then I go back down into the top of the side, kind of the side of the single crochet. I try to get like these two loops. And slip stitch. And that puts the little point on your single crochet. And then we just chain two again. Skip two stitches. V stitch into the next. And this is the pattern we're going to repeat to the end of your chain chain two and then it'll be a pico or a single crochet with a pico on it and you just repeat that all the way to the end of your chain and when you get to the end and you do your last V stitch that you can do go ahead and do a chain two after it like normal and go ahead and just do a single crochet into the last stitch you should have two stitches and then this like stitch turn chain here go ahead and do a single crochet into it like that and that'll end that round out okay now we're going to start the next row with a chain of three three and turn okay now we're going to work in these V stitches we're going to be doing a triple cro or double crochet three together so what we're going to do is yarn over, go into the V-stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. Yarn over again, go into the V-stitch, drop a loop, go through the first two loops. One more time, yarn over, go into the V-stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all four. So that is a double crochet, three together. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to do it again in the V-stitch again. Yarn over, go through, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops. And we do that three times, so that was once, twice, three times. You should have four loops. Yarn over and go through all four. And chain two. And we're going to do it one more time into this V stitch. Yarn over, go through, and go ahead and do your double crochet three together. Should have four loops. Yarn over and go through all four. So we did three sets of double crochet threes together with chain twos in between. 
So now we just chain one and then we skip all this and jump over to the next V-stitch and do it again. So we start by yarning over and going right into the next V-stitch, drawing up a loop and doing my double crochet three together. that chain two again chain two and then one more time in that v-stitch and this is the pattern that we're going to repeat all the way to the end and then once you get three in each v, three in this v stitch you chain one and then you just jump to the next v stitch and do it again all the way to the end and once you get to the end you just do your chain one at the last one yarn over and do a double crochet and to this stitch this chain stitch right down here this single crochet down here there's a chain one in this in the single crochet, but go ahead and double crochet into it like that, and that will end that round. Okay, now we're gonna chain two. I'm sorry, chain three and turn. This chain three counts as a half double crochet and a chain one. So what we're gonna do is jump over to the next chain two space and half double crochet like that and then we're going to chain one jump to the next chain two space half double crochet chain one then right here just go right through this whole this whole chain one space half double crochet chain one right back here into the chain two space half double crochet chain one and we're just going to repeat this all the way to the end so now what we're doing is we're making the row we're kind of starting our pattern over again half double crochet in each of these chain two spaces and with a chain one in between and we're half double crocheting in between them too so go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way to the end and when you get to the end you just half double crochet into the top of this chain here like that and now we're just going to repeat these rows that we've been doing it's a real easy stitch once you get the hang of it where you chain one and turn and then you start by single crocheting into the very first double crochet or half double crochet and then one single crochet into the chain space one single crochet into the next half double one single crochet into the chain space single crochet into the half, half double so that's it that's the pattern for that row so now we're just repeating the single crochet row and then you want to repeat the v-stitch and the pico row and then you repeat the shell stitch row so you just keep repeating till you get it as thick as you want it's real it's really pretty easy once you get the hang of it and it won't take long it it'd probably work out well it might take a little while i guess because the scarf's pretty long but i think i worked on it for a couple days off and on but okay i went ahead and did now you can definitely do it thicker if you want but you can see I did three three rows of like these shells and then I ended where I did the half double crochets one more time and then a sing row of single crochet one more time and if you want to make it thicker than mine or thinner you can keep going or you could do less rows but that's how many I did you can see so um, after you get to the end um, that single crochet there I'm going to cut this tail long and I'm going to use it to sew it together. So, 
cut it long. And I'm going to use my yarn needle. <clears throat> okay, you want to lay your lay the scarf out. I'm going to make sure that when you fold it to sew it together, that it's not twisted. You don't want to have it to be. You don't want it twisted. And you want to sew it wrong side out. So if there's a side that you like that you prefer better, put it on the inside. So when you sew it, you flip it right side out. The seam will be on the inside. So just make sure that it's not. See how mine's all flat? Okay. Then I'm just going to take that end that I just cut. I'm going to use my yarn needle. And I'm just going to sew it together like that. So, fold this up. If you don't want to make it an infinity scarf, you don't have to. You can leave it like this. <clears throat> it's completely up to you. But I'm just going to go ahead and sew it neatly as I can. Together here at the ends. Just as neat as I can, kind of just getting the tops of these stitches like that. And I'm crossing over if you can see here like that. Just going. I'm just going to do this all the way down. If you prefer to slip stitch it together or even single crochet it, you can do it that way too. It really doesn't matter as long as it gets sewed together. And make sure it's sewed together nice and tight. So it doesn't come undone on you. I'm going to go ahead and then and just keep going with this all the way here to the end. Okay, I, I got it sewed up. Um, here's the good side of my seam. So it doesn't look real bad, actually. Lined up pretty nice. So um, and I'm going to put show you how to put these fringes on. You don't have to put these on if you don't want, but if you want to, I'll show you how. I'm only working on the outside. I'm only going to put them on the outside of the scarf. So. When the scarf you want, when you put your scarf on, you want the shells to be facing up. So I'm putting it along the bottom, all around the bottom, but not on the inside. And you want to put them on with the wrong side facing you too. As you can see, when you put them on, they look like this on the wrong side. You can see the knot there. But when you flip it to the right side, they look correct. Nice and neat like they're supposed to. So when you got your wrong side facing you like this, I cut a bunch of strings here, and you can make them as long or short as you want. These mine are probably about 12, 15 inches long, and I'm actually putting 10 of them together. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, this is something you can adjust, just depending on how thick you want your uh, little tassels to be. But I got 10 like that. Ten of them together. You want to get them kind of as even as you can. And I'm actually spacing them. I'm putting them in between down here on the bottom right in these double crochet spaces. Between the, the first chain and the or between our first chain we made and our half double crochets. These spaces down here at the bottom. And I'm actually putting one and then skipping three, skipping two, and putting another one in a third space. And you can put them as far apart, or however however much you want. But doing it this way, they're about an inch apart. So what I'm going to do is skip my two because I put one here. So skip, skip, and put one in this one. And what you do is you just take it in half and push it through like that. Put your finger through the loop and this side hangs over and you can see how it is 
You want to get your ends pretty even, like that. And then you just take it and pull your ends through the loop, like that. And then pull it tight, like that. And then when you flip it, it's going to look good on the, on the good side, like that. And I can show do it again here. I'm going to put two of my little strings together. This might take a little time to do this, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to skip one, two, and then the next one. Go ahead. And I started back here at my seam in case the amount of spaces between isn't exact, so it won't really be that noticeable. But I'm not going to go in. I got my 10 strings here. Push them through. And you got your finger through. And I'm going to even up my ends. And then grab both of them together. My ends together. And pull them through that loop. And then pull it tight. Like that. And then when you look, it looks neat on the good side. And when you're all finished, going all the way around, you can trim these up for as short as you want. I'll probably just go through and trim like these. My, I want mine to be kind of long. They're probably pretty long, five or inches or so. But and I'll just at the end, I'll just go through and trim off all these long ones that are hanging, just to even them up a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and go around my whole, the whole outside piece of the scarf until I make it back around here to the beginning. Okay, I finished going all the way around and that's it. That's my scarf. I didn't really do much trimming on these because it's homemade. It's not going to be perfect. It's not supposed to be. If we wanted our homemade stuff to be perfect, we'd just go to the store and buy it where a machine makes it. But then again, most of the time it's not perfect either. So I think it not being perfect gives it a little bit of character. So but that's it. Um, it was really pretty easy. I hope you were able to follow along okay. Please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel and check out all my other tutorials. And you can always come check me out on Facebook. I'll put a link to my Facebook page below in the description box. And you can post all your crochet items on there. I'd really like to see pictures of them. And until next time, have a good day.